This is Leadership Plus. I'm Dave Edwards. Good leaders have to be good listeners. Sometimes employees are afraid to speak up until they hear what the manager has to say. As someone once told me, though, you have to understand in order to be understood. Managers sometimes think that just because of their position, they get to speak first, that meetings are designed so that they can share their broad intelligence. Or you want to use meetings to just give quick answers and move the agenda. But by listening, you might learn something that you might not otherwise have heard. Frontline workers oftentimes have a unique perspective on issues that are invaluable to a manager in terms of making decisions. A 2007 study published by the Journal of Business Communications showed that good listeners tend to hold higher level positions and are promoted more often than those with less refined listening skills. A meeting is not a place to show off what you know. Hate to break it to you, you're not always right. And sometimes it's okay to humble yourself by asking others about what they think. That doesn't mean you shouldn't contribute to a discussion. A good listener listens and is an active listener throughout a meeting. You should also feel comfortable with asking more questions. If you're thinking about what to say next, you're not listening. And you know, everyone enjoys it when someone asks them questions about their thoughts. Other ways you can become a better listener is by turning off your cell phone, putting it away, and all those other buzzing devices. Laptops can be helpful in meetings to take notes if you're using them for that purpose. But if you mind wanders and all of a sudden you find yourself checking email or doing other work, well, that's being counterproductive to the purpose of the meeting and it is inhibiting your ability to become a good listener. Oh, and watch your body language. Sitting like this does not give the impression that you're paying close attention. Do you look engaged or do you look bored? Psychologist Jerome Berger of New York University says that people only remember 10% of what they hear, but the percentage is as high as 80% if they can see the listener as well. Your facial expression should indicate that you are listening. I also encourage people to take good notes. For some reason, at least for me, that if I'm in a meeting or I'm in a lecture, if I'm writing something down, uh, just the simple fact that I'm writing uh, keeps my brain active and my mind tends not to wander away. And if you're the boss, it will help signal to everyone else that you're paying attention, you're taking notes, and you will follow up on what's being said in that meeting. At the end of every meeting, I try to summarize what was discussed and what action items may have come from that meeting. It helps me kind of, you know, solidify in my mind what I've heard, and it certainly demonstrates to everyone else that this meeting was important. That's today's Leadership Plus. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button please subscribe. And if you want more on leadership and management technique, visit my website at daveedwardsmedia.com.